was an active animatronic hidden in the hall, and I didn't warn you. And I'm sorry for that. I thought you'd pussy out, you know? Just try to be more careful next time, please. Alright, which one you didn't get yesterday's memo? I told you all the safe room is not for regular employee use. Just had a door unlocked this morning. And also, why is the couch below the floor? It was told me that there was catching. This brings me to the conclusion that one of you may have thought that this room was a break room for employees. Spoiler warning, it isn't. Alright, let me repeat. This is not a break room and should not be considered a place for employees to hide and or conquer. And under narrow circumstances, should a customer ever be taken into this room and out of the main show area? I all who speak English and actually understood what I just said. If I see where you entered that room again, goodbye. Alright, see you tomorrow.
What have we learned last night? Um, that touching any electrical device is dangerous and triggers the facility's security system. But that's what we're here for, right? No pain, no gain. All right, try finding another electric safe. disable the firewall so I can hack my way into the safe. And to do that, you need a virus. I can't send you the virus software through, the, through your phone because, well, it's a virus. I'm gonna send you lines of code. Type those codes into the phone to write the program. Once this program is executed, it will disable the facility's firewall, and I will be able to hack the safe. So we can all go home. Got it? All right, here's the first line. Come on, keep going.
on, dude. One more. safe now. Alright, so the pin code is... 1, 8, 6, 9, 2, 5. I'm not happy with what we got.